No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and I'm back in the booth with Aaron Carter. The what man, up, yeah. the myth, the legend. He's rocking some sort of uh, Dr. Carter-style coat. Yes, sir. He's got a dog with him. This is my service dog, my canine, my sheriff. One of the rules on the list when you come here you is no dogs. Dog. <laughs> no, actually, I actually talked But it to, is a service dog. I, I did talk to Laura about it, and uh, as you can see, she uh, so um, she initiates um, pressure therapy for me. Okay. So And she also uh, is a canine unit a sheriff. How does that work? What's pressure therapy? Um, so basically, like, pressures that I go through, like, walking, you know, around people, you know, so death when you, threats. When you you're know. stressed out, the dog steps in? Or oh, yeah. just oh, yeah. the oh, presence yeah. well, helps? What, well, what she does is she gets in between anybody who's talking to me. Okay. And then she won't let them cross that barrier. And if I'm touched, then she has the legal right to attack that person. Really? Yes. And this is a violent dog? This no. dog is capable of no. acts of terror? Uh, on command. Yeah, so I speak three languages. I speak German, Russian, and English. She's trained, and she was $25,000. And I got her when I got the restraining orders. Remember when that shit happened? But she could fuck somebody up. Very badly. Really? Wow, well, okay. Oh, I mean, and they're, she's a female, so most sheriffs actually use... Uh, females because they're quicker and more agile. Really, I was just and thinking they get, that they can get they can get to you quicker. So a a boy dog isn't stronger than a girl dog. Not at all. Oh, okay. They're stronger, but the bite force. See, you have to practice the bite force with a bite sleeve. Really, and you have to strengthen them. And and sh I've done all that with her. That's so something I would like to do. Wear the big suit, and the dogs chase you. And well, they with this bite one, you. it's just like it's just like an arm band, and you hold it in, right? And, and then you know you tell her "fas," and "fas" is her Russian command for attack. Right. So. You know, it's funny that you, we end up talking about the dogs right away because I have seen a lot of the, let's call them the mean girls. That's what I just call. What do you mean? Any girls who are mad by anything online. I oh, call yeah. them the mean girls. Oh, you do? And they're That's trying funny. to convince me. I call me them turkeys. Turkeys? Yeah, because they gobble all the time. <laughs> well, they're telling me that you uh, have all kinds of, like, dogs, that they don't know what happened to the dog. I know. Or... I know. You know what? It's it's crazy because uh, it's anything that they can grasp a hold of. You know? Right. You know what I mean? And to be honest, it's none of their business, you know? Um if something happened to my dog or you know what I mean? And it's my job to be a responsible pet owner and take care of my animals. Right. And but once you put your dog out there, yeah, not they kind of want famous. answers yeah. for what happens afterwards. Because like I have a dog and the dog went away to a, a trainer for like, I forget a month yeah, or they, six weeks. They came at you. And oh man, I'm seeing comments left and right. Like, did you kill the dog? That's what I'm doing, dealing with right and then now. The dog came yeah, back. Cause, yeah. cause uh, Nala, my pug got injured. And it was ironic because I have this, like, I have people in my neighborhood where I live in in, um, in Cortell and Lancaster. And I, I just went out there to flip houses, and I did a good job. I mean, I made a hundred out of a $105,000 investment, I made $700,000 mm. off of three selling uh, two homes. Okay. Um, so that's pretty good, you know. But out there, I, I just don't feel welcome. I, I just, you know, I have... I'm t I'm masked up, you know, like I'm pulling up in Bentleys and and face tattoos. Yeah, and so I, you know, I, I'm in the suburban so suburbial area, so it's it's just you're not your I, presence I feel, isn't I, I, I appreciated. Feel, I, no, my neighbor next to me, Courtney, he's dope as fuck, but he's like black folk, you know. So like the urban big court, big court, big Courtney. Yeah. Well, so, there's a dude we had on this podcast named Big Court. Oh, you did, and he's a big black guy. But I don't think he lives in Lancaster. Oh yeah, no. This this guy lives next to me, and he was in the Air Force, and he's cool. As, he's cool as shit. But you know, next to me, I got, <laughs> I got neighbors that are you know they make up YouTube accounts, they stalk my properties. Um, it's just time to go. You know, oh, okay. you know um, I need to be in a gated community now. Um, I can f afford a one point three million dollar home okay. after my investments because I, I I'll sell and then I'll roll all the money over into the next house and then. All the equity and, and I keep rolling, 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 rolling. It's, you ain't slept in weeks. No, I mean I actually slept great. I was up. I was up. Uh, I went to sleep at last night because I knew we had our interview. So I was. I was just. I actually went to sleep at like five p.m. and I just got back from a show in, in uh, Winona, Minnesota, and I was just hella tired. And I just. Uh, I got a after this. I'm, I'm. So I got producers out there, two guys, Benjamin and Pillfinger. Uh -huh. They're nominated for a Grammy. So I'm actually starting legitimately since 2017, the Love Part 2 album. 
Oh. And it's actually ph phenomenal. I'll play you a little clip, guys. You know I do. I'll play you a little something. Okay. Off the phone. Um, but here, I'll play it for you. Right no, now. we can't do this because we're not going to be able to play it. We got flagged last time. For what? 324. Be because of the copyright, the music. It's ours. It's fine. Yeah, but it's a whole thing. It, it's, Just play it, it for me off camera. It, and it, then or we'll, we'll link to the to the music so they can check it out we just gotta keep podcasting and well, music I, separate wait, for wait, youtube's sake well you know what that that's fine because honestly Look I don't, how I art don't, has I, restricted I, I us i actually don't has want, been restricted. i actually don't i don't want to play too much of it to be quite frank because people might steal your sound yeah one and then two when when the, the records release they already know it so you're already so you're california sober or what i'm cali sober yeah smoking a lot of weed or what no i don't smoke that much weed I'm actually a little annoyed because I lost my joint. You got a couple of weed packs in front of you. I know Josh he, says it's over. Oh, oh I it's got on it. the ground. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Um. I I really believe in the uh, the Cali sober method. Um. Oh. It's helped me. So I actually just hit five years clean. Right. Um. There was a, like a little stint that like I was like fucking with people online. So you were fucking with people because there's a lot of rumors about this. The cops were coming to your house yeah, and you yeah. were doing whippets or you're on Zans or. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I'm just, just fucking trolling people because they, you know, you're going to troll me, I'm going to troll you right back. Fuck you, you know? That's how I feel. Right. It's like, you know, you get it, so. And to be honest with you, I got to a point where I'm just like, you know what? Uh, this is not worth my time. Trolling just, people or just, drugs? Just, no, no, trolling people and entertaining them. Th this, I don't consider a drug. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I consider this a gift from God, you know? Right. Um. I consider you know, drugs that as well. You know, it, no, I'm just kidding. I don't do drugs anymore. But no, you but know, you could say the same thing. Like lean's a gift from God, ain't it? It sure is. Is you're drinking lean too? Is that part of the Cali no, sober of course, diet? Of course not. Is that color? Oh my god, you're jumping it on your dog. <laughs> I hope he can't uh, get the promethazine into no, his skin through his fur. No, no, no. It's just grape juice. That's what the first for. <laughs> Come on, Zada. Up here, baby. Come on, up, up, up. Good girl. Sit. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. You want paw? Okay. You like your mouth touching the dog? You're cool with that? Yeah, yeah. I don't just, think I could do that. Just quickly, though. Right. No, no, just like this. Just a little peck? Yeah. Not that bestiality shit. I'll let my cat lick me. You do? A little bit. Oh, man. I, I, yeah, let's wipe I, that I, I got a cat, too, recently, and, and oh, thank you But so I'm much. not going to, like, lock tongues with my cat, either. Said, no, I've seen people do that shit, and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Like, yeah. that's nasty. Well, not with a cat. The cat tongue is, like... It's like it's like spiky. Uh, yeah, I know. It's like the the grains of a shark backwards. Yeah, it's like having sandpaper. Shark. Yeah, so if you pet like a shark, you. but back, worse because yeah. it's like reverse spikes. Oh man, I don't know what the dog tongue is like. It's more like man, a woman. I was in the shower. <laughs> I was in the shower the other day, dog, and I fucking I don't know how to open. And the cat came in the shower and jumped on my dick and fucking in lashed. the shower. Yeah, it came in. He came in the shower. And he jumped on my dick, got all scared from the water, and he lashed himself onto my fucking dick. He bro. clawed it. No, he didn't just claw it. He fucking destroyed it, the fucking thing. He mauled it? What, you have pictures of this? No. Oh, well, oh my God. Well, no. I would like to see your mauled penis. Of course, of course he would. <laughs> just to see what the damage done was like. One of the best you things I'm... It, it's just some, something about Mary shit. You don't want to see I this. had a homie back in the day who broke his dick. What? And he sent me a picture of his ball sack completely filled with blood. His ball sack was black. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my insane. God. What yeah. the fuck is that? It's like if you have a boner and you're banging and, like, you know, you ever, like, feel, like, a weird pain in it? Like, yeah, if you're going course. to push it in and you, like, hit, like, a or wall. you're going too long. You hit the thigh or something yeah. by accident. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, if, if you're, while your dick's hard, you can break it by bending it. What the fuck? And it could take like months to heal. I mean, I've tried to get in different spots in the pussy, but you know what I'm saying? I'm like, so thankful I've never done it because when girls are hitting it from a weird position, yeah. I feel like it's going to break. I think it's more so when we're doing it because well, we're trying to find that, that G spot, bro. Are we? Uh, <laughs> no, but like of if course, you're you doing be. it, if, if no, I'm, I'm in control, I'm not going to break it. But when she's bouncing around in all kinds of crazy positions, whatever, that's when I feel like you could right, fuck it right, up. Right. Actually, that's. That's very true. And when they're on top, when my girl's on top of me, right? Yeah. So you're she, back with Melanie? Yeah, back. We're back. Yeah, we we've been man. We've had a hellacious year, but you know what? She uh, broke your dick. <laughs> <laughs> she, no, she. Well, she didn't break my heart. That's for that's for sure. She didn't break your heart. Uh, no, because I I didn't get left. You know, we had some turmoil, and you know, she had 
pretty bad postpartum depression after after the kid the kid it got rough and yeah it got rough and um you know we did we did things we said things that weren't true just kind of retaliating retaliating after each other in the media and we we both learned a valuable lesson at least i did i learned that you know that's not that's not what you do you don't do that and i don't like to consider myself a celebrity or a famous or a legend legend i'll take you know because (laughs) Well, I mean, 27 years, 75 million records sold, and my whole life dedicated to this. Right, but, okay, the thing is, is you are famous and you are a celebrity, so those things you actually can't debate. The legend part can be debated, why but you that? gave yourself that part. But why, you, you, why is that, you said you, but how, how, I'm just how, saying that— But how? But because you got to understand, at nine years old, I broke Michael Jackson's Guinness Book of World Records. Right. You know, um, I've— sold 75 million records i've had seven albums out i've you know i'm in no position to question your legend status because i to be honest have not really like involved myself with your catalog that much over the years yeah. like i'm familiar with some of the old stuff my girl showed me some you classics heard some of the new shit too i've heard some new stuff yeah the more produce. hip-hop stuff yeah. Yeah, yeah but i i don't really know like where you fall in the pantheon of pop stars I mean, but you are definitely famous and a celebrity. If you Google me, it says American rapper. Right, you're very, very into this. You've said this many times on here that you are a rapper. Hey, shout out to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this podcast. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com/no-jump or clicking the link in the description below. Sending data over an unencrypted internet connection is like sending a postcard. Your message is wide open for the mailman and anyone else who wants to look to see. Whenever you're connected to an unencrypted internet network on your phone, computer, tablet, TV, etc., you're sending countless pieces of information out into the digital world that can be seen and intercepted by many different parties before they get to their intended destinations. But a VPN creates a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. In other words, it puts an envelope around your postcard so that no one can sneak a peek at your private correspondence. For me, I like to use ExpressVPN at coffee shops or when I'm at the airport or at a hotel where I'm using their Wi-Fi. People don't know this, but when you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network as someone, it makes it pretty easy for them to steal stuff from you like financial details and credit cards, etc. But if you use ExpressVPN, it would take a hacker with a supercomputer billions of years to crack, so uh, no worries there. ExpressVPN is the only VPN I trust when I'm surfing the web. Whether I'm traveling or just trying to be low key when I'm at home, ExpressVPN has my back. ExpressVPN also has the fastest speeds. There's never any buffering, so you can stream in HD quality, no problem. They also have servers in 94 countries. You can change your location to anywhere in the world whenever you want. ExpressVPN was rated number one by CNET, The Verge, Mashable, TechRadar, and more. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash no jump or clicking the link in the description below. Well, I'm a rapper, I'm a singer, I'm an artist, I'm a producer, you know, I'm an actor. I I cover all bases. I've done Broadway twice in my career. You know, that taught me a lot of um, uh, accountability, Mm. you know, Uh, showing up eight times a week for shows. So we did, for two and a half years, I did eight shows a week. That's more shows than the days in a week. That's crazy. So, and I did that for two and a half years, making only $654 a week. That's what Broadway plays, pays? Well, that's what they paid me because it was union and it was off Broadway. So they they're took, they, union they, 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 and they get paid six hundred bucks a week. Yeah, but, I thought you but, become union so you get paid more. Well, with off Broadway, it's different. Really? Wow. Yeah. So the differentiation between off Broadway and Broadway is four hundred ninety nine seats below is considered off Broadway. Anything above five hundred is considered Broadway. Okay. So that's that's how you differentiate the two. My mom is obsessed with Broadway, so maybe I can ask her what she thinks uh, of your tell her career. I did uh, Fantastics. Okay. She, she, it's the longest running musical in the in the world, Guinness Book of Records. Could you see yourself doing that again? No, fuck that. Just the lifestyle is too demanding. Fuck that. No, I, the lifestyle, the pretentious people. I mean, you're dealing you're dealing with the best singers in the world uh-huh. on Broadway. So when I first came into Broadway, the first six months, nobody liked me because I was singing pop style. You know, it was like, there was one of the songs, uh, it was called Try to Remember. So I was singing like, try to remember the kind of September. And then I learned how to sing it like this. 
Try to remember the kind of September when life was slow and oh so mellow. That so, sounds more like Broadway. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just speaking, you know. So I, once I learned that, then I was accepted into the Just community. make it sound a little fruitier? I, like that? I guess, you know. Uh, just more speaking. More speaking vocal. Interesting. So, you know... Um, so I know, but to answer your question, I would never go back to Broadway. It was too, it, it was too rigorous for me. I don't like doing the same thing. Right. I, don't, I don't like having the production manager telling me my foot was two inches away from where it needed to be every night. Understandable. You know what I mean? I like my own shows. We were just talking about this off camera. What is your opinion of what's been going on with Kanye? All right. So immediately when I saw, I, and I've been on the fence about Kanye for a minute. And for the record, today is the day that Adidas announced that they were dropping him, just in case well, you've been paying well, close attention to I all have, this. I have. I, I didn't know it was today, but... Just for the people, because they're going to see but this you know in what? You know a what? Week you or... know what? In my opinion, I, like I said, I was on the fence about him. But in my opinion right now, Kanye, you fucking stupid as shit <laughs> for fucking putting out a fucking White Lives Matter shirt when when the white population isn't being isn't being targeted and dealing with prejudice and racism and all of this bullshit. So that's what Black Lives Matter matters stood for is is that, you know, all the injustice that's been done to the black community. Right. So when I saw that, I was like, you know what? Like what the fuck is he doing? Because I'm like, bro, like seriously, like you stupid as fuck. You broke you're a broke ass boy. Well, it has many hundreds of millions of dollars, right? I don't give a right? fuck. In your, in your mind, Kanye, you're broke. He's definitely broke in, I think, at this moment exactly. in time. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You know? uh, okay. But it feels like the White Lives Matter thing has kind of been pushed into the background a little bit Good. because people are more focused on the stuff he said about George Floyd and the stuff that he said about the Jews, generally speaking. Well, I mean, you you don't do that. You You can't be, you know... Like, I'm kind of in the middle, you know? Like, I'm in the middle of, like, the white community and the black community. That's just how I am. That's how I grew up. I'm a product of, of my environment. My musicians that I had for 17 years, Adam, were all black funk musicians in their 40s and 50s who used to play for Janet Jackson and, and Black Street and Jodeci. And I learned, that's where I learned how to play the piano and, all, and produce music. You're going to the cookout. What cookout? Well, there's like a proverbial black cookout that might happen one day. I mean, I'm we're, there. All, we're I'm, all trying to figure I, out if we're invited to. <laughs> well, if I if I get the invite for sure, um, you know, but it's gonna be tough. Like I said, you know, um, Kanye, you stupid as fuck for doing that. <laughs> Your beard looks fucking weird. Um, you like, there's a reason why Kim left you because, like, come on, man, get it together, like, chill. Like, I learned how to chill. I ain't being irate and crazy anymore. You know, I'm living my life. You know what part of it stands out to me is like he's a control freak. He wants everything his way. He doesn't like taking disrespect, etc. He doesn't like big well, situations no, does, that cause but, him but, a lot of pain that that are out of his control. But and it comes so, with it, right? But I think that the situation with his mom, when his mom passed during the plastic surgery, I think that really, really impacted him. Having like the worst thing happen to him as a result of something so trivial you know and then i think that in a lot of ways his kids being taken away from him as a result of the divorce has had a similar effect on him mm. where yeah, this pete, is a what pete was doing was fucked up well it's a uh, shitty pete, situation uh, but also, it's, uh, it's can one I say he, something okay yeah what's his name pete, pete David, davidson davidson dude your body bro i'm sorry but <laughs> you got a body of like a 30 year old 12 year old boy what, just because he's tall and skinny? Like if you I have, like, the you, same if, body. I, You're just shorter. No, bro. You want to see my body? I mean, okay. <laughs> There's a big difference. I feel like Pete Davidson is going to be within a similar range of look body his, fat, skin look color. Picture. Look at his picture right now. He has no abs. Oh. He has no abs. He has a 12-year-old body. He's a piece of shit for sending that to Kim. So you, know, you, you, you judge men mostly on their abs? I know, I judge them on the way they fucking look at me. And has Pete Davidson actually, ever actually, looked at you wrong? No, he don't have to. He already, he already, he already, he's already a piece of shit to me. Really? 
I mean, look at it. Ariana Grande broke up with him. Kim broke up with him. There must be something wrong with just because you got a 10-inch dick. Well, mine's 9 inches, bitch. A lot of girls have broken up with all of us, right? I mean, I've never been broken up with. What? I mean, I'm sure there's been women who didn't want anything to do with the you only anymore, person, right? The only person that broke up with me was Hillary Duff. Right. So you're going to use that against... Should we use that against you? Like you're using Ariana against No, Pete? Be- because they were adults. I was 14. They were what? They were adults, Pete Davidson and all of them. I was 14 years old. So so one so, person breaks up with you and that ruins your credibility for life? It hurt. <laughs> no, but I'm saying in general, like if you're going to give no, me no, 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 reasons no, 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 why no, no, Pete not, Davidson's I'm a bad not, guy, I'm not saving. I don't I'm, think that the fact that a couple of girls have broken up with him is going to do it. Well, that's my thought. So you don't have to agree, <laughs> but that's how I looked at it. I was thinking about it. And right. I, I know it was just a thought that crossed my mind, you know, mm. just thinking, oh, well, it's kind of strange that all these girls have left him. I'm just going to go straight to the tattoos of the kids' initials. That to me is like, okay. My son? If we No, him. Oh, him. If we ever oh, needed a sign son, I got my son's name right here. that the guy might be a little weird. I to me, kid, that, that's I a, just. I had a baby, by the way. That's odd. I don't know if you know I had a baby. Boy. I know. I heard about this. And you guys are in possession of the baby right now? All right. So if we want to divulge into that, um, that's something that. Oh y'all out there, this is only something that I would talk to Adam about, period, end of story. Um I, appreciate I don't that. feel comfortable uh talking to anybody else about this. So in the last year, he's gonna be one year in November twenty second, right? So within that time, everything all the trials and tribulations and everything that has never been spoke of. This is this might be a 10, 15 minute conversation. You Let's ready? Go. All right. I'm ready. So I'm gonna try to put it in a time lapse and, and, and a t- what, what, what am I trying to say? Like, you know, a timeline. A timely order. Yeah. Yeah, timeline. Thank you. Uh, so, December comes along. I get referrals because, you know, I bought my guns and I bought my shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I take my medicine legally. Um, the weed. Yeah, I take Xanax. I take, uh, I take you know. Right. I, I take everything legally. I just got all my teeth redone, bro. 19 root canals. All of them. They look great. Brand new. 19 root canals. Taking care of my health. So basically, all right. So let's start from the beginning. And just let me, I might look away a little bit, but I'm doing it so I can give you like a dope answer. That's kind of from the heart. Okay. Um, Because it hurts. For sure. Uh, December comes along, four different DCF people come to the house, right? It was a referral. And it was all on these internet shit. All the emails you've probably been getting and tweets and shit. Are all this, and it's all negative. So the fans are hitting up fake. the it's, city. It, but it's all fake because, unfortunately, I tried to play God and stand up for alleged rape victims of Nick. Okay? And to my brother, I would like to apologize and say I love you. I'm sorry. Um, you know, I shouldn't have done that. And I was there with you when it first happened in Tennessee and you broke out shingles in your back. Do you now think that those stories were not true? I I do not. I do not think they were true at all. I completely dismissed them completely. Um, I actually became, I actually became friends. That's why I'm the Joker. You know what I mean? I'm the Joker, bro. Like, I'm, I have my own Joker click. Did the Joker ever take back any rape allegations? Um, which Joker? <laughs> I don't think in any of the Jokers. Me? <laughs> okay, what were we saying? No, like I got rape allegations? No, I'm saying that in what way does no longer accusing your brother of being a rapist make you like the Joker? Well, because I spoke to the victim <coughs> and, and got friendly. Okay. Played Two-Face, you feel me? Ah, okay. So Jokes on her. To learn... Her side of the story. Correct. Jokes oh, on you. Wow. That's why I always say, my famous saying, I'm not playing your game, you're playing mine. You know, because just like you, with what you do, you know, then you're not playing their game, they're playing your game. You know? I own the server. Exactly. So I'm T Grizzly. So, but but the, the difference between you and I is you don't have a brother that's in the industry doing the same thing you're doing. True. Competing with you, compact uh, podcast with the biggest podcast in the world, right? So, I mean, so basically, Melissa Schumann accused Nick of raping her. Uh, is eight, it a, uh, is it a coincidental that her name? But her name sounds like malicious human. That's <laughs> fucked up. 
Am I the first person to mention no, this? No, no. You are. Okay. Yeah, that was genius. I'm I just I'm a rapper, I have to. <laughs> I was looking for rap songs to post on my last post on on, on Instagram and I couldn't find your music. You have music? <coughs> yeah. You do? No. Uh, why would you lie to me like that? You got me excited. <laughs> okay. All right, so let me put in time. I don't want to make it too long, so I want to touch a lot, of, a lot of bases here. Um, and I want this to be the best fucking interview, and it's gonna be the best fucking interview you guys have ever seen because it's the realest. It's trials, it's tribulations, it's jail, it's felonies, it's crimes, it's my baby taken away, temporary custody taken away from me, then taken away from my fiance who's sitting outside. Okay, but so you should talk to her about it. I always, you know what? We'll do you, you, a part you, two. I know, I know, I know that you said, listen, I know but that you said, oh, hold on. We just only have the I know, two mics right now. I know, but but I can move that because I'm curious if you can ask her questions. I just want to know, so me. the city comes and they're inquiring about the safety of the kid? Yeah, because they, uh, because, because, Mel, of the Melanie got, no, because Melanie got mad at me. Oh. Because I got an EPO on her because she was acting fucking crazy. Okay. And I found out that she cheated on me with this dude from 90 Day Fiance on what Valentine's Day. What the fuck? Day. Who? Is that Big Nick? Georgie. I don't know. Darcy and Stacy's. That's been a while. Fiance? I don't know. All right, well, she cheated on me on Valentine's Day. And then for like seven days and then woke up in the morning like, where are my motherfucking flowers, bitch? And that's what started it. Then I separated myself in the room. You know, try to listen to my therapist's advice. <laughs> Uh, I got a seven bedroom home. It's big as fuck. She went to another room and she went in that room, talked to him on, on the night of the 14th and the 15th. And so that's when I got an EPO on her because she wouldn't leave the house. Just 10 days. Then I went to file a restraining order to get full custody of my son. Okay. I got there. And I was going to be able to do it because I had her. I said, because she kept wanting to be back with me. I said, all right, well, you just lied to, well, people found out that I broke your ribs, three of them, right? Right. And, I, of course, that wasn't true. So, I, I'm trying to sit there and calculate, like, okay, how, how did this happen? Like, what did she do? Like, how, because she found out I was getting a restraining order against her. So, she called the cops and then made up the story. <laughs> and I I give her the benefit of the doubt when it comes because I love her, um, and I'm a good man to my woman. But maybe the post traumatic stress disorder had something to do with it. But she did it. But she, I found out because I went through her phone like four days later after not talking after Valentine's Day. She stayed there. I went through her phone when she kind of we kind of started fixing things. You know what I mean? Because I didn't like how I was disrespected in my own home. I didn't find out about the cheating until I got it back into the room. Got it back into the room four days later. She was talking to him the whole time. She told me this after I went through her recently deleted photos. And I found pictures of him. Mm -hmm. And I said, who's this guy? And she was on. And then I, I take time to process things. Maybe a couple of days later, I was like, it's over. you know. Mm -hmm. And then I went to get... A, restra a restraining order and full custody of my son because financially I can completely take care of my son. You know, I don't have any pending things. I ain't got no probations. I ain't got no restraining orders on me. You know, um, I've really done a good job of maturing, I think, you know, and understanding the culture uh, a lot more mm -hmm. since actually since I met you because you kind of brought me into, you kind of gave me that segue into the culture of No Jumper. And, um, you know, it's important for me when I come on, to, you know, to be me, to be fashionable, to be, you know, somebody that inspires people. And uh, so I gave her another chance, man, you know, and it, I went on TMZ and I said I was going to sue her and I was going to fucking sue her. If we ain't going to be together, I'm still sue her. I'm straight up. I will sue her because I had her release her medical records to get back with me, which said she had nothing wrong with her. They're on her. They're on her Instagram. Her medical records from Kaiser. Mm. Nothing. No broken ribs. No, it completely says no pulmonary like pneumonia. No fractures. No nothing. So, Aaron Carter doesn't hit women. Well, 
of course not. And that's why I was able to prove that. And it was actually her attorney that figured that out mm. and said, "We, oh, I want to get your medical records. And then I saw it and I was fucking pissed, dude. You know how pissed I am? Yeah. A, a woman beater? You, you call me woman beater. You call me animal abuser. You call me, uh, you guys call me, um, a pedophile. Uh, you, uh, when fucking pedophiles that come from the world that I did in Nickelodeon and all that shit yet when I was younger, bro, look at Drake Bell got fucking arrested. Now I lived in Mexico playing a fucking, you know, uh, look at it, fucking Kyle Massey, all prosecuted. Okay, but so you, <sighs> um, so you decide. How do you go through the process of getting back with her? We have every right to be back with each other. We there was never what? any restraining orders. Done. How long were you apart? We can't get rid of each other, bro. We love the fuck out of each other. It's crazy. Really? This 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 fucking. But the kid this, is with this, this woman. This 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 woman. Breaks into my house, I mean, and catches, like, like comes in and sneaks in, and she doesn't give up, you know? But she, the kid is with her grandma? It's with the maternal grandma, yeah, the soon-to-be maybe, <laughs> maybe emphasis on that. But so, are you guys, like, not allowed to spend time with the kid, or how does that work? No, I'm, I see my son every week. I get a certain amount of hours, uh, a certain amount of days. So they tell you that there's only a certain number a monitor, of days that you're... I have a monitor visitor. So you it. have to have somebody watching while you're with the kid? Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, good. I have to, I have to sit there yeah. wow. for four hours, three times a week. Or I get nine hours a week. That's crazy. Yeah. So is there any, like, what's the... That's the detail. That's why I like talking at them. Yeah. But what's the path towards you guys having full custody? Um, so I'm in um, an outpatient program right now called Lion Rock Recovery. Shout out to them. And what are you technically recovering from? Well, the system, want, the California system, first they wanted me to get a psychiatric evaluation and her. They shut that down. All the hearsay from the internet, all the things that people were saying. Judge literally said, that's hearsay. Shut that down. You know, um, so um, I have to just cross a couple T's and dot a couple I's. And in regards to that specifically, um, I have to attend an outpatient program. I have to take uh, a drug test a week, every week. Sometimes I can't even leave and do concert. Damn. Uh, yeah. Um, but it's okay because all because of Prince, this one domestic dispute, or was there that more? Was, that was both. That was basically. So I said that she shoved me. That's how I got her out of the house because I called nine one one because she shoved me up against like a little fucking the, our stairs or something, being crazy, and <laughs> and so I called the cops. I literally called nine one one, and then she scooted, went back to Orange County two hours and a half. But so that that situation is the reason why you have this whole custody thing with the kid and correct just because that one time, yeah. And to be honest, because I think that the DCFS and uh, um are you know uh, how do you put it? It's like it's hard, man. Um. The, the word prejudice just keeps coming to my mind. You know what I mean? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but... Prejudice because you're a celebrity? Yeah. And mm. there's, like, a certain type of group that I shouldn't be fucking with. Like, And that's why I came to you, because I, in my mind, I think my music like a chess game, bro, 27 years. So, of course, I'm going to go on with you. Because... I don't feel like the fan base that I have is actual real, like real, real. I feel like the fan base that I gained from you was like 305,000 followers, by the way, guys. Um, from No Jumper. Correct. I'm going to choose to just believe that. No, that's true. Okay. Yeah. I already told my girl, I said, I want you on No Jumper because she, you know, I want her advertising her shit. You know, we do OnlyFans and we do it together, like you and your girl. You're banging on there. 
Uh, go check it out, baby. Damn. Yeah. So I, I get to go in there and see your dick. How much is your sub? Five dollars the first month, twenty after that. How many subs you got? No comment. I, I get twelve hundred, or I have thirteen hundred subs, and I make seventy five thousand a month. Nice. Pretty crazy. It's, it's an and we living. have a joint one called Melanie and Aaron. So really? mine's just Aaron Carter. That one's Melanie and Aaron. And you're just putting in work on there, or what? You know, we're just uh, showing off our bodies and, <laughs> and feeling comfortable and uh, trying to keep it kind of classy a little bit, I guess. I'm okay. trying to with the photos, trying to be artsy, um, give content in, in, in the subscription page that just isn't always like nudes or just buy, 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 XXX. Just more of like, a, you know, kind of like Instagram too. What's the path towards you guys getting the kid back look like? So all I got to do is complete the uh, outpatient program. Right. And then um, just make every drug test. And um, I'm actually going to be going on uh, with Scan My Brain with uh, Dr. Amen. That's a new show or something? Yeah. Mm. Best, and they were on the Kardashians, too. Shout out Kardashians. Love you, girls. Uh, Chloe. <laughs> Scan My you. Brain. Chloe, I love you. Right. Um, no. Um, you trying to tell uh, us something my, right there? No. You got anything going on with them? No, I wish. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm getting, I'm gonna get in trouble for this. All right, what were you we saying? <laughs> the Kardashians? I don't know. No, we were saying the brain scan. Right. So okay, they, you're going I, on the my show. My girl watches it and she saw it and I was like, yeah, I've been going, I've been going to a psychiatrist from Amen Clinics, mm -hmm. uh, Doctor Jay Faber, who has changed my life, like really, you know, like giving me tools, learning things about scapegoating, secure detachments. I mean, um, just a plethora of things and tools, um, secure detachments with the relationship is good. You know, I'm, I'm a good person in my relationship. I give my girl everything she wants. Sometimes I feel like she doesn't appreciate all of it. You know, I'll be honest with you. Your mental health being so stellar? No, her, I'm just what I give to her. Right. My, my love and my money. My dinero. Right. You got a big heart. You know, I gave you that chain. I hope you still have it. Did you give me the chain? I thought you gave house phone chain. No, I gave you the, the love chain. A big one. Huh. You don't have it? I, I don't know. Honestly. It might be around somewhere. Well, you should give me it back. <laughs> I thought the chain ended up being fake or something. Didn't no, like Logan Paul no. diamond test it or something? No, that one was real too. That's 50 carats of Princess Cut Diamonds. Oh. <laughs> no. Some were VVS's, some were VVS1, some were VVS2, some were enhanced. I remember you gave House Phone a chain. Yeah, I gave you my fucking love chain, dude. Really? My big one. Yes. I was fully expecting you to like give me that a hard George, time about that George made about not still having my love I jumpsuit. I designed that. Right. Wait, you're mad that you didn't get your jumpsuit? No, I just don't. I don't even think I have the jumpsuit By anymore. By the way, uh, make sure you get them sweaters, baby. Who it's made this lab season. coat that you're wearing? Uh, Kino Benz. So he's been my stylist for about twelve years. He's from St. Kitts. He's got an accent. He, he's my brother from New York. So okay, Kino Benz. He does like GQ model, like. Big shit. So, so how long you been drinking lean for? Uh, this isn't lean. It looks like lean. No, no, no. It's not. It's, I swear. What else is that color? What else is purple? Yeah. Um, I don't know. They they pour me like uh, grape shit. Grape. <laughs> grape soda. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I, it's like my favorite. Um. No, grape soda is great. Yeah. I don't drink a lot of it at <laughs> noon on a Monday, but it's healthy for you too. I guess it's a Tuesday. Grape soda is. Okay. Absolutely. Right. So, um, in terms of, so you're doing this show. What else do you have going on? You have the music, the OnlyFans. What's the Aaron Carter Empire look like these days? Uh, so basically, uh, right outside the door, I have uh, uh, Benjamin and and Pillfinger. Uh huh. Um, they're about they're nominated for a Grammy. So they're doing my love uh, part two. 
or I don't know if I want to do Love Part 2 or 2.0. I don't know. I can't decide. Right. But, well, I did Love Album that did, half, by the way, that did a half a billion streams. Sooner or later, just broke 100 million streams. I produced, remember, I, we got to remember, I produced and wrote these records. Right. So they mean so much more to me than all the other shit that I've done growing up because I never wrote it. It's, it was shit I didn't want to do. I shit ass songs. Some were good, you know, but not like my love album. And mm -hmm. I did that. And I learned how to produce. I started producing when I was 19 years old. And my brother, you know, made fun of me and called me a wigger and all this shit. <laughs> and like, you know, and then, but I kept doing it, bro. Right. I swear to God, you have no idea. I can't even explain to you the hours of my life, Adam, truly, of how much I make music. Like, I have like 10, 15,000 tracks that, and maybe two, three thousand of them are amazing. You know, I work really hard on my music. So, but do anyway. you feel underappreciated by the people? Um, I don't give a fuck, to be honest. <laughs> Chewing ice into the fucking microphone is a new one. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, you know what? Listen, I'm not a prisoner to the perception of people of me. You right. Know, do you understand? No, yeah, for sure. You can fucking hate me all you want, but I keep it real, and I just have a tone and an attitude, and if you knew my father, you would be like, oh, I understand Aaron because Bob Carter had this low kind of intimidating type of personality that... He, but is very was so loving and so caring and I'm so loving and caring and I'm doing I'm doing so much work man like I've had to take CPR classes 52 hours of domestic violence classes even though there was no domestic violence done why CPR um, for my son so you could potentially do CPR on the kid yeah they, yeah they they made me do ev they're making me do everything huh. I can fucking think of maybe I, I should learn CPR. Yeah, you should. For your kid? Yeah, I never thought yeah. about it. Oh, I brought a sweater for her, by the way. Oh, sweet. It's a girl, right? Yeah. Yeah, I brought a sweater, pink one. <laughs> we keep I saying have, the I, kid. I, no, I, no <laughs> I, have a pink, I have a pink kid sweater line, too. Wow. So How's that sell? Uh, Love has been doing, let's see, since 2017, that's five years. Um, we'll say four. Uh, about $3.1 million in sales, just e-commerce. Wow. So, and my margins are... You know, probably about, I get, you know, landed at wholesale. I probably get like $7 for puffy paint um, jumper. And then the, the pants, I get those for about 12 So my margins and then selling them at $100 a piece when they're customized by me. The one that you said in DM that you, you uh, or actually, no, sorry. That was my jeweler. By the I way, was thinking, by I'm the like, way, what are you got, about to say? By, I said. By the way, I got I got a shout out my jeweler, right now, because he put a fucking sixty five thousand dollar necklace around my neck for free, and why? Why? Yeah. Because I told him I would promote his brand. Wow. And I would go and and talk about it organic, got organically. So Twin Cities jeweler Peter Wynn, uh, Twin Cities jeweler in Minneapolis, um, and then right this one I just got this Momo gave this to me. So, do you know who Momo is? Momo? Yeah. No. Yeah, well, Pete, I would love to know a, well, Pete, a Momo, though. Pete, you, you, I would love to bring him in here. I think you need to have a conversation with Momo. I'm serious. Right. About some other shit. Some real shit. I used to wear a Moomoo. Some real street shit. Mo yeah. Momo does street shit? To talk about some real street shit. I don't know if I want to talk about street shit with Momo. Not really like that. <laughs> Do you think Yeezy is going to be all right? Do you feel like you're the new Yeezy? Um, I think I could potentially be. Um, I do, uh, you know, winter wear. So, and then I just donated actually four, 40 outfits uh, mm -hmm. to the homeless. To keep, keep them warm. Kanye donated some White Lives Matter shirt to the homeless downtown. That's stupid as fuck. <laughs> Kanye, you're stupid fuck. I was thinking That's like That's why your beard is growing the way it is by the way Stupid ass broke, He has a weird broke beard boy. Fucking broke boy Broke seems like the one insult that you probably couldn't throw at him No I think it's funny as fuck Although I think his finances are going to be tested through this whole 
I think Yeezy it's funny thing. to start, you know? Do you think that I'll do a song. I'll, I'll do a, I would do a song with Kanye. Yeah. Just because he's controversial and he's got a great mind, but he just, maybe I could sit him down and have an intellectual conversation with him how to turn your fucking stupid life around him and you're being stupid like me. Maybe you could, like, intellectually battle him on the track. Oh, I would just... <laughs> And if we sat down together, you have no idea what that interview would be like. That's what the culture needs, really. I'm a, I'm one of a kind. I'm still doing it. I'm the only person that come back after 12 years and revive their career and do two times better than all their previous albums before the previous five albums. Mm -hmm. With the sixth album, the love album, after 12 years, after my hiatus. Produce it. Focus on producing. Spend all my money and everything I can. And then did it. The whole question is, is <clears throat> now that, you know, Nike and Adidas and realistically probably a lot of big manufacturers or partners are going to be out of the picture. Do you yeah. think that Yeezy's still going to have a future? I do. I actually do. Um, just as long as they keep it at the price that it is and they don't drop, try to drop it, and, you know you know in expenses or change change where it's made you know to reduce prices just as long as it's made the same kind of quality um i think they got the general idea the gist of it i've got about 30 pairs myself so really yeah I so you're invested i'm not really aware of all the fucking things so well but you know you have a reason why you want to see them do good because you don't want to have to stop wearing those shoes. Well, I, um, I actually enjoy them. I have a very high arch in my foot, so I walk on the balls of my feet, and they feel fucking good. So I think Kanye did a great job with that, but I think my love collection uh, could do way better than that. Um, I built it off of nothing. Um, you know, I source my own product. I keep my profit margins, you know, low. Um, I have a good return. You know, I net. A lot off or i gross a lot off of my net you have know? you talked to britney spears since she got free no and to honest that uh, to, to answer that question honestly like um my bachelor boys did a song with her so i, I don't want to talk to her. you can't talk about her because your backstreet boys allegiance is that strong all these years later after you called your brother no. a rapist a million times i mean I just hope that relationship gets fixed, you know? What relationship? With my brother. Oh, with your brother, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like sure. he's still steering clear, even though you've made it clear that you're not feeling that way anymore? I mean, the family's doing good. The family's doing good. Um, I'm sure my whole family would get mad at me for saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Because they don't really talk to me anyway. And they said, you know, you can say it in... Um, okay, well, yeah, I am. I put my mom in rehab two and a half years ago, and now she's only been given 12 months to live. Due to what? Alcohol. She's back drinking? She's been. Oh. 27 years, man. Wow. So she's probably not going to make I feel it like, much I feel like talking about this, it, well, the doc doctor said if she stops, she can have a chance. <clears throat> but she just won't stop. Damn. That's terrible. Yeah. yeah. So how does that make you feel? It's just been a tough year, you know, but um, I think I just just keep keep staying strong and keep pushing forward, focus on the music. The music's going to be fucking crazy. Um, I'm so stoked to fucking do, do this album, actually, because I've released some shitty-ass songs. And um, I got Louie, uh, Lake Shiri Louie, Taylor Helgeson, my manager, um, who wrote my whole love album with me. That did like a hot billion, six, 61 countries, gold and platinum, fucking killer. You know, I did not think that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. I really didn't. And so I'm, I got Benjamin and Pillfinger out there. You know, they're from a different country. They're from like Europe somewhere, like <laughs> Copenhagen. Okay. Um, they're about to win a Grammy, um, hopefully. And um, so right after this, going to the studio. I got like three songs to cut. Hopefully I can knock out like five tonight probably. Um, and then just focusing on that. And then I'm probably going to just take a complete silence break from social media. Uh-huh. And uh, like six months. 
get the videos done, everything done correctly. You know, um, give them time to really miss your presence. Correct, mm. and, and that's the key, guys. To all the rappers and y- y'all think that shoving this shit in your face all the time helps. It does not. It's annoying. Got to give them a little bit of time to miss you, huh? Yes, of course. Think about it. Right, you but you want what you can have. But you have somebody like Young Boy just floods the market with music all the time, and people just go crazy for it nonstop. Well, that's because he's dope as fuck, and not only that, he's got. A amazing fan base do you think that in general these days that a musician needs a label in order to be like a really big star mm, it depends it depends on the following that they already have um you know i have my own record label rackers records which i really sell my shit through um probably this album too unless um, a major wants to pick it up if you do it's fucking gonna be dope um Otherwise, don't do records, records. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. I mean, really, it's just, it takes a lot of work, and uh, it takes a lot of money invested, and you got to find the right people to invest with that you don't owe interest on, or, you know, people trying to steal money from you. Um, it's hard to trust this game. Mm. You know, it really is. Right. You know, I mean, especially for me, like, to, I'm, I'm different, you know. Like I'm, a, I'm a legend. I'm different. You know, it's it's different, and it's hard to fucking deal it. To be honest, <laughs> what just the pressure of the fame? Yeah, you wish you could just be a new artist. Not really. I mean, I embrace. I want candy. I embrace Aaron's party. How I be Shaq and all the shit that I did. Jimmy Neutron, fucking Rugrats movies, Princess Diaries. If you know Seventh Heaven, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Fat Albert. I mean, all in Supercross. I mean, Broadway twice. I enjoyed all of it. Touring all the fucking time for ten years straight, headlining in front of twenty thousand people every night, hundred mm-hmm. times a year. Enjoy. I enjoyed all of it and. I, I'm I'm back to do that. That's what I'm back to do. You know, you gotta get yourself right. And right. What do you think is missing right now? Like, what do you think you need to my son, change? My son. Right. You know, to be a star like you once were, though. No, I mean I don't really care about that, um, because I've had so many levels. Of, of the industry and fame and fortune and highs and lows is like a roller coaster. So it just depends on if you pop off and, and you're as good as your next single and what you do. Right. It's all about the music at a certain point. Well, I mean, that's what I'm here for. I'm a musician. Like, you're a songbird. Yeah. I mean, I, I could do my own podcast too, but I don't, I don't choose to do that. Like I, I'm, I'm a singer. I'm a song. I'm a songwriter. I'm a performer. And this is what I do. Right. You know, and I'm never going to give up on it, you know. I respect There's that. Momo. Oh, that's Momo. Yeah, Momo. Say what up, man. Hello, Momo. I didn't know that Momo was here when I was talking about Momo before. That's Momo. Damn. Um, okay. So. Great artist. Anything else you want to update us on? Yeah, man. No, I mean, just. Uh, I, I think it's time for. Just, um, just people to just cool off a little bit. You know what I mean? In terms of your obsessive fan base that hates you and yeah, wants to terrorize it, I you, I don't consider those fans. You know, they're like anti fans. Yeah, but they're like they put a lot of mental energy into affecting you negatively, right? They did, but they don't anymore because out of sight, out of mind. So if you're not looking at it, then you don't see it. Okay, <laughs> but I've seen it. I, I've seen it I on Twitter. At, I don't look at it. I already know it's there. It's repeated things from spam spam accounts and a group of people that don't like me that are Backstreet Boy fans. Right. Mm-hmm. So you just ignore it. Yeah. What else you gonna do? I got millions of fans. I got tens of, I got hundreds of millions of fans. You don't think it's honest criticism? What? Um, the stuff that they say about you. Do you no, feel like in reality not. it's it's no. it's not in good faith? No, absolutely not. I was trying to dig into it a little bit. Absolutely not, yeah. It wasn't... Uh, what did you think? <laughs> I mean, you have, like, the domestic violence situation. 
I seen somebody posted a bunch of texts that were alleging that you were talking to a minor at one point. I don't know if you want to speak on that. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, there there was, but the rest of the text was never proven where I said, um, you're underage, I can't talk to you. And that happened when I was like 19 years old. That's how old these messages are? Yeah. Oh. That's why like, yeah. And, I thought they were like iPhone screenshots. And like people looked into it, they had cops, all that shit, and they said Aaron did nothing wrong because you never told him his age. And actually, in the state of New York, like, yeah, it just doesn't work that way. Hmm. It was like a trap, kind of. So, but it, it happens. I mean, that's what I say. Look at Drake Bell, look at Kyle Massey. You know? You got, a, you got an axe to grind with them? The what? Do you have a, a beef with them? Or are you just I, I don't using really them like as an example? Of, I, don't, I don't really like any of these little shitheads out there like that. I don't, they're not on my level. Mm. Not at all, man. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> no way. They're not on my level. But did anyone say they were? No, I am. I just did. No, you said they aren't. That they were on my level? No, you said they weren't on your level. No, I'm telling you that now for the first time. <laughs> I mean I don't know <laughs> I guess yeah uh, Shout out Drake Bell though I don't know what fuck he's that up kid. to exactly That but kid's a little shit fuck You don't think he got a ride into the deal there? I that bitch in the face so fast <laughs> You're acting like you don't have a problem with him And then you're saying you're gonna smack him He's a pedophile Is he actually though? Yeah he got convicted He's a oh. fucking pedophile it's oh. a piece of shit. I'm a fucking. Mm. I well, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't see how that ended up. That whole I was story. Just, I was just joking. But he got like a slap on the wrist. Are you right? kidding me? That's he didn't why have to when do people any real try to say I'm a pedophile, anything, like fuck you. Right. Mm. I'm a rock star. I got people f fucking doing this shit all the time. To be fair, a lot of rock stars are pedophiles. Yeah. Well, Back in the day. Well, I'm a pop star. Yeah. They might not have known it, but. Um, I dated older women. I dated Mel B. I'm. I have no. I'm. Why would. Why would I ever have interest in a minor? That's weird. No. Yeah. Stay away from that for it's, sure. It's weird. You know. I got this YouTuber, Mister Girl, that you should check out. Who's that? Mister Girl. The, well, actually, you got banned, so never mind. Oh. There what, might be some re-uploads. I don't know. What's it about? Life. Um. Okay. Aaron, great talking to you. You too. Appreciate you. You too. Got to get that kid back. Yeah, he'll be home for Christmas. Okay. Mark my word. Well, that's soon. All right, let's do that. Yeah, I, uh, I got a lot to do. Um, keeping private with my life and just chilling at home, moving, buying a new house, $1.3 million mansion, leveling up, just hustling, sitting, you know, uh, doing my thing, taking care of my mental health, Um uh, Working on my relationship, we're doing really well. Um, you know, we're engaged. Uh, we may or may not have another baby on the way. Um, so, look at this guy. <laughs> look at that fucking Twitter. Man. No, I just saw that Mike Dean wants us to take down the post about something he said about Kanye. Oh, I did. No, it doesn't have anything to do with you. Oh. Sorry. Um, then I guess it wasn't that rude. Yeah, and also it's like if you tweet something. Yeah, but so anyway, it's I mean, gonna be a post. Uh, so, so you know, just uh, being a father, you know, being a father growing up, and, you know, I'm gonna be 35 years old. Right. And uh, I'm a grown man, and it's time to start behaving that way, and, and you know, doing the right thing, focusing on myself, my career, my kid, my family, my fiance, getting married, being loyal. Having a home. Smoking dope. You know. Flexing on the gram. I have a medical marijuana license, actually. Mm. And DCFS never stopped that. Well, that's good. Never stopped Gotta keep it, it locked up, though. Of course. Can't have the kids I'm a very, snapping into the weed lean. I'm a very responsible father. Um, I grew up with a very militant da dad who was in the military for 29 years. So right. I'm a military for policeman. And uh, so I grew up around guns, and I wasn't even ever allowed in his room. Mm. So um, I have safes. I have all my shit protected. Moving to a new home, and no one's going to know where it is. 
they can't stock my shit anymore because people stock my shit like every fucking day. Do you fuck with Amber Heard or Johnny Depp? I mean, it's kind of, I kind of want to say like no comment because I li- literally like said that I was going to, you know, I could sue her for that shit, which I could. Um, But I, I can't, uh, you know. I love her, and you know I think she was going through some tough shit. And Amber Heard. That's what a man. No, me. And oh. I think that's what a man does for his me with Melanie. Right. And I, but why'd you start answering the question about you instead of about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard? You're just drawing a parallel. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. I think they're. What's your question about Amber Heard? I was just wondering who you're rooting for in that whole little battle. Well, Johnny Depp, of course. Why? I mean, it's not, it's the same kind of thing happened to me. Right, but that doesn't mean that he's innocent, right? Of course, it does. he's definitely innocent. I don't. He's definitely innocent. <laughs> I don't think anyone thinks he's innocent. I think it's pretty clear they were both being Johnny abusive. Depp is fucking innocent. Trust me. <laughs> right. Okay. Huh? Nick, Aaron, Are you <laughs> sorry. Fucking. <laughs> I, was, I don't yeah. even know anything about your brother. Why the fuck did that just happen in my brain? This fucking guy. I know more about your brother from you Better than from, from anything else. From my fucking love chain, I got you. Yeah, I'm going to go do a little hunt for that. We gotta the find fuck it. is that? I, I don't know. Give that shit back to me. People give me a lot of stuff. If you just if you just put that in the fucking thing, give that shit back to me. I, I'll look for it. Oh. I'll ask my girl. No, I'm just kidding. I She's look, out I, of town I, right Actually, now. you know what? I, I love gifting you things because first and foremost, um, you're my favorite podcast. The only shit I've ever watched. And I I'm appreciate very that. Wow. And... Um, Learned a lot from the culture from you. Um, um, look at you as a, kind of like a mentor and, a, and idolize, you know, because I've seen you a lot. You've done a lot of pieces. Thank and, you. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, time time to move forward and just, just do the damn thing. So onward and upward. Yeah, I mean, that way. Appreciate you, man. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Everybody go check my man out on all platforms. And you better find that chain. I'm going to ask my girl where she thinks it might be. Okay. You, all right. You do that. Let's go. Well, uh, hold on. No jumper. Hold on. Hold you're, on. You're wait, giving wait. me a painting. I have a, a canvas for you, a $10,000 little thing. Cause the Joker, bro. So <laughs> this is for you. There you go. If you want to grab what that. is this? Who, how did this come to be? What is this? It's, it's artwork that I bought. You bought it. Yes, sir. You're giving it to us. I'm giving it to you. Wow. That's great. I thought you might like that. Yeah, I love clowns. Maybe, maybe not. Depression era. Yeah, it's, there's That's a lot cool, to yeah. it. That's dope. Thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram, etc. Like, comment, and subscribe. You big on TikTok? Uh, I do live all the time. Yeah. I'm on there. Make lot. a TikTok. You want to do a dance? A TikTok? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I have to deny you. Peace. All right. Thank you, man. Of course, bro.